This is the latest offering from Audi. The third generation TT is set to hit the streets, and it's snappier and sportier than ever. And it's packing a lot of new technology. At first glance, it doesn't look like things have changed too much. It's immediately recognizable as a TT. But there are clear differences from the previous models in the details. The car has evolved constantly since entering the market 16 years ago. Audi's Andreas Valencia says that the first TT model's design was iconic and based on geometric forms. You would describe it in terms of a circle. In the second generation, that became a wave. In the third TT, the form is faceted. It's a three-dimensional, crystalline design. He says the whole design of the front has been set up logically. The lines converge and highlight the fundamentally sporty and masculine characteristics of the car. This is an R model. Its design elements are R model specific, like the fine lined single frame grille that flows horizontally to highlight the sporty character of the car. The car is formed in a very three-dimensional way, and at the same time, it's striking and logical. But if evolution is the best word for the changing exterior design, inside the word is revolution. The cockpit has gone virtual with a large display replacing traditional instruments. The air conditioning and its controls are located in the vents. Audi Stefan Hummel says the car is extremely driver-oriented. The company has determined that sports car drivers want everything placed right in their field of vision. That's possible here. And with the controls and the multifunctional steering wheel, we can control 90% of all functions with the left thumb. Audi has placed a lot of emphasis on efficiency in the new TT. Light construction is the buzzword, and with a total weight of 1,230 kilograms, the new TT is setting new standards in this class. Audi's Marcus Sievert says the TT2 shed 90 kilos in the second generation, and it's now cut another 50 kilograms. It has built an Audi space frame in a hybrid fashion. That means the right amount of the right material in the right places to achieve optimal effect. In this generation, there's a horizontal layering of materials. The chassis is steel, in part high tensile steel, whereas the body is made of aluminum. Seward says Audi has also boosted all the engines in the series. They're more powerful and more efficient. There are three models, a diesel starting at 135 kilowatts and with fantastic fuel consumption. It's a very ambitious development aim of 110 grams, just 4.2 liters. Seward says people might know the drive select from other Audi models, but what's new here is the integration of the drivetrain from the Quattro. There are four pre-programmed options, auto, efficiency, dynamic and comfort, and the driver can program an additional individual mode. The efficiency mode allows us to switch the Quattro system to front-wheel drive with significant fuel savings. But where road conditions make the Quattro system necessary again, it is activated immediately. The dynamic mode shifts more power faster to the rear axle. The striking feature at the front is the large headlamps. There's an optional LED matrix lighting system that adjusts to the road and the surroundings. It's a world first. Audi's Jürgen Wilhelmi says the Audi TT is the first sports car with an electronic anti-glare main beam system. Audi divided the main beam into 12 LEDs on each side, which can be turned on and off individually. A camera in the mirror mounting recognizes vehicles ahead and oncoming traffic and turns off the LEDs pointing directly at them. That means drivers can use the main beam all night without dazzling other drivers.
But it'll be a while before the new TT with all its technical improvements will hit the roads. It's on the European market beginning November. And if you're looking forward to the convertible model, you'll have to wait till 2015.